Hello and welcome to the day ahead. It is Thursday, June 2nd. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, taking a look at the US markets overnight, and Wall Street ended lower for a second consecutive session as investors bet the latest round of strong economic data will do little to change the aggressive path of policy at the Fed as the US central bank continues to tame runaway inflation. The war in Ukraine and prolonged supply chain issues from China's COVID lockdowns are also weighing on the broader market, with the S&P down some 13% so far this year, although managing to remain out of bear market territory for now. Well, stock specifically, Meta shares tumbling late in the session on news that its chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg, is leaving the company, though she'll remain on the board. On the flip side, Salesforce shares spiked after the company raised full year guidance and said it didn't see any material impact from the broader economic environment. Apparel retailer Victoria's Secret climbed after its first quarter numbers beat the street and costs fell. Looking ahead though, the company remains confident near term despite expecting inflationary pressures to persist through the first half. And Tesla back in the news. Chief Executive Elon Musk demanding staff return to the office for a minimum of 40 hours a week or risk losing their jobs. We're well, getting to the bigger picture and the greenback has resumed its rally following a raft of economic data overnight, though the Aussie dollar remains volatile, initially rising to a one month high of 72.3 US cents before falling on the strength of the US currency. On the data tape, US job openings fell in April to 11.4 million but remained at elevated levels with 1.9 job openings for every unemployed person. The JOLTS report also showed layoffs at a record low. And the labour market tightness was reflected in the Fed's beige book, the reading of regional economic conditions. It showed some signs of slowing growth over the past six weeks, but highlighted that labour market tightness is the greatest challenge, followed by supply chain disruptions. And Fed member Mary Daly said, although she suspects inflation has peaked, She's comfortable to do what it takes to get inflation trending down to the level we need it to be. She said she favours pushing the rate to neutral, estimated to be 2.5% by the end of this year. Well, the benchmark US 10-year Treasury yield climbed to 2.92%, its highest level in two weeks, the two-year yield rising to 2.65%. Meanwhile, the Bank of Canada has hiked its key interest rate by 50 basis points to 1.5%, with hawkish guidance indicating that it's prepared to act more forcefully to achieve 2% inflation target. And the Eurozone manufacturing PMI was finalised higher, prompting ECB hawks to voice support for 50 basis point hike to be considered at the central bank's policy meeting next week. So further weakness is expected on the local share market today, with ASX futures currently down close to 8 tenths of a percent. Global oil prices have continued to rise amid reports that OPEC Plus members have not discussed suspending Russia from the current oil supply deal. Brent crude up 0.6% to US$116 a barrel. The iron ore futures price rising slightly to $135 a tonne. While base metal prices were mixed, copper rose but aluminium was down more than 2%. And the spot gold price moved higher. Bitcoin drifted lower overnight, reaching a low below 30,000 US dollars, with most altcoins falling, with it Solana down more than 10%. We're well, looking at the corporate watch list today. Bubs and A2 Milk will be in focus again after US President Joe Biden met with the major manufacturers on efforts to boost imported supplies to help a US shortage. He said new entrants are needed in the infant formula market. And Technology One is trading ex-dividend today. And that is your day ahead. See you again tomorrow.